Welcome back folks, we do apologise for the um, technical issues we've had um, on the previous stream. Um, we don't quite know what's happened but uh, we decided to open up a new lobby and put together a custom grid based on the qualifying results from what we had earlier on. So we're just waiting for the drivers to get back into their teams, into the lobby and we'll be underway for the Belgian Grand Prix. Round 6 of the America F1 series. So as I was saying about the championship standings, with Mercedes leading on 102 points, Alfa Romeo in second on 89, Williams in 3rd on 84 and McLaren in 4th on 79. So any one of those top 4 teams in the championship could lead at the end of this one. And there are 4 drivers in contention for the title. They are Gamer James 06, Radicon, Switchback and Ben McEwen. Ben McEwen in the Williams, Switchback in the Alfa Romeo, Radicon in the Mercedes and Gamer James 06 in the McLaren. Seven points between those top four drivers. So we've been waiting for the last couple to make it into the lobby. Sooner or later, we'll be underway here at Spa. We've had four different race winners from the opening five rounds. We've got a few. Uh, debutants in the championship. We've got uh, Angel LV07 in the Red Bull. Bimmer Guy in the Racing Point. My name is Guy in the Renault. And the other one, which is the Alpha Tauri. Which I will find out who that is. Oh yeah, Dauntless in the... Um, in the Alpha Tower there. Dauntless is, was meant to be uh, one of the full-time drivers, but missed the first half of the season, but he's, he's in the Alpha Tower now for this one. Still got another four drivers to make their way into the lobby.
So if you are just joining us, we had encountered some technical issues at the end of the formation lap, hence why the stream went down. But we went, we're back up now, we're just waiting for the remaining few drivers to make their way into the lobby for today's event in the America F1 series. So run down on the drivers who we've got. So we've got Dauntless in the Alpha Terry, one of the uh, debutants for the season. Gamer James 06 in the McLaren, one of the uh, championship contenders and the championship leader, of course. Demo 166 in the Renault, followed by Stoke Blake in the Ferrari. Then it's Angel LV07 for Red Bull, who's another one of the debutants. Gummers Indu in the Mercedes, Ray E46 in the Red Bull. Ben McEwen in the Williams, Monkey Mafia in the Alfa Romeo, Schiffer Gifty 15 in the Ferrari, Quasinada 67 in the Bracing Point, my name is Guy in the Renault, uh, Switchback 37 in the Alfa Romeo, another one of the Championship Contenders, Disimpi in the Alfa Tauri, B Natty Nutter in the Haas, and Radicon is in the Mercedes, although he hasn't put his name on the Mercedes yet, but he will do very, very soon. Got 18 drivers in the lobby. We're, we are meant to be having 20 in here. Sweet 14's just made his way into the lobby. And Bimmer guy has made his way in as well. Just waiting on another two drivers to make their way into the lobby. Maybe 19 drivers are in the lobby now. Bishop's Finger has just joined. Just waiting on one more driver to make their way into Just waiting on one driver, Crimson L07.
So we're all ready to go in here now. We do. We were waiting for one more driver, but it seems as though maybe internet connect, uh, problems could be hindering him. He may be able to join as the race goes on. We'll find out soon enough anyway. But 19 drivers are on the grid. Anyhow, we will be doing another formation lap. And drivers are being warned about heading into La Source and Eau Rouge as accidents can easily happen through that. Just waiting for the event to begin now. Drivers will go on the formation lap. 19 drivers on the grid. Karim in the McLaren. The only one that's missing. But Ben McEwen will lead the field away. Drivers warming up their tyres. Drivers already disqualified from the session. Ben McEwen leading the field on the Camel Straight. Followed by Donless in second. Great qualifying from him. My name is V as well. Could any of these trouble those in contention for the championship? See the predicted strategy. Drivers starting on the softs would make the pitting from lap 8 to 10. So, if I already mentioned on the previous stream, we'll find out soon enough which lap they'll, uh, they'll begin. Hopefully providing we don't have the same issues as last time. The Belgian Grand Prix will finally get underway. Here's Ben McEwen, who will lead the cars onto the grid. 
on pole twice this season. Or three times, you should say, or four times, actually. Four times in a row that Ben McEwen has been on pole. Can he take the lead in the championship with victory here at Spa? The cars are finally on the grid. We're about to go racing here at Spa. Who will prevail here at the Arden Forest? Once again, we seem to be waiting for the start procedure to commence. Ben McEwen and the rest of the grid waiting patiently for the start to get underway here. Still waiting patiently for the lights to go out here at Spa, but perhaps seem to be having connections, uh, connection issues. I know you folks tuning in are waiting as patiently as I am. So we're not going to be getting a start here. We're just waiting ever, ever ever so much waiting such a long time for this race here in Belgium to to begin the drivers are wondering what's happening will we ever get a race start here at Spa I've never seen anything like this before with such a long procedure, if this was in real Formula 1, there'd be an aborted start. But, uh, but, you know, this is F1 2020 for you. F1 2020 in a nutshell. Particularly online. Has its own banter. And I'm getting updates saying that one of the drivers has not been able to uh, his car's the bishop's finger, I think it is, whose car is on the grid, but the player itself may not be there, which could explain why we're waiting such an awful, awful long time. There we go, look, the five lights are on now. Lights out, and away we go. Ben McEwen gets off the line well, as does uh, Donis. And there's the Alfa Romeo there of Switchback on the inside. But Ben McEwen will keep hold of the lead. Coming out of so one, be side by side, Liam Lock with Dauntless. Side by side coming into Eau Rouge now. Ben McEwen, I think, will have the high ground. But the two-way contact, Dauntless spins and goes into the barrier there. There's the Alvatari. So that's him on the back foot already. As you can see, the drivers are going past the spinning um, Alvatari there. But Ben McEwen stays in the lead. Then it's 
My gear is second. My name is gear is in second place there, followed by Switchback, who also goes for a spin. He's also gone for a spin. So that's him on the back foot as well. So two of the top three on the grid have already gone uh, backwards. And there's another car in the gravel trap there. Can't tell who it was. It's the Red Bull of uh, Angel LVO7 who's gone round. So drama already on the first lap here at Spa Francorchamps. So Ben McEwen leads. So my, Gears, uh, my name's Gears second, followed by Radicon third. Gamer James in fourth. Denmark fifth. Bishop's Finger is in sixth place. So it's Monkey Mafia to Simpy Stokebike and Ray E46 rounding out the top ten. So Ben McEwen continuing to bridge out the lead, locks up into Stavlo. Dauntless with that terrible, terrible mistake there into Eau Rouge. Far too ambitious there on the inside of Ben McEwen and paid the price for it. And I can imagine he'll have picked up some damage. We'll find out as the race goes on. You can see there Radicon on the, in, on the outside of, of Guy into the bus stop. So round lap one, Ben McEwen leads. And Angel LV07 has retired from the race. So that's his race run already. The debutant is out. And Dauntless has made his way back up into 10th place. So further behind Ben McEwen, we've got the Mercedes of Radicom. So two cars are in the pit. Switchback 37 is one of them. Tilwick is the other. So, looking further behind, we've got Stoke Bloke. Tossing there with De Simpy for eight. And he gets by the Alpha Tari. So, that's position gain there for the Brit. You can see further behind, there's the other Alpha Tari of Dauntless battling with Ray E46. No change of position. And, uh, Switchback 37 is back out on the circuit on another set of the uh, soft carbon pound. So Ben McEwen continues to lead. Mike and it's Guy in second place. Radicon third. Gamer James in four. Monty Mafia. We've got Ray 46 and Dauntless. And De Simpy's gone for a spin there in the Alpha Tari. Losing time and places. So he's at the back of the field. And Dauntless is down the inside there by the looks of it on uh, Ray E46. He was round the outside of him. So that's a position gained there for Dauntless, making up for lost time. So DRS is enabled as we are on lap three. So Radicon with him with under a second behind Guy should have DRS on the Camel straight. We expect to see some time penalties handed out to drivers if they exceed the truck limits too many times. Here's Radicon round the outside of Guy in the Renault. And it's a good move there from the Mercedes driver and that's him up into second place past the Renault. So it's a change of position there. Nothing too much going on further behind. Simpy's in the pits, presumably for some for some damage. And Chippy Gifty 15 has got a time penalty as well. So he's the first to get a three second time penalty. You can see Radicon running wide at Puon, and uh, he is alongside him into campus, round the outside. But Radicon keeps his nose in front there. And then you can see the McLaren of Gamer James down the inside of Guy coming into Savalo. But can't quite make the move stick. So Gamer James currently in a Renault sandwich. You can see Gummers Indu the latest to be given a time penalty. So you can see Gamer James round the outside. Or oh, we go to the inside here in the bus stop chicane. He does, but Guy shuts the door on him. The driver starts in lap four now. You can see the McLaren of 
from Caitlin James. He needs to get by the Renault Sousa. And this Radicon's gone for a spin. Would you believe it? So Radicon spun on the exit of La Source. You don't see drivers spinning there very often. And Radicon's down to 8th place already. So that moves Gamer James up into 3rd place now. Behind uh, My Name Is Guy. So it's a change for, for position again. As Gamer James moves up into 2nd place. But that's a costly mistake there for Radicon. He's lost another position now to Dogless. So Radicon losing time and places. You can see that he in third place ahead of his teammate. Denmark 166. I wonder if he'll continue to hold him up here. Denmark will want to get by him as soon as he can. So you can see Ben McEwen in the lead. As it stands with the way the positions are, he would lead the Drivers' Championship. You can see Bishop's Finger in 6th place. Ahead of Stokeloke, Dauntless and Radicom. Stoke right behind him. You can see the Williams there ghosted out because the the player who's meant to be driving that um, has been ghosted. So it's an AI that's controlling that. So Stoke Blake is able to get by easily, as does Dauntless, and Radicom will do also. So Dauntless right behind the Ferrari on map 5. 3 0 Rouge. He will have DRS. And I think Stoke Blake is going to be powerless to hold off the Alpha Tari. And it's game over from there. So Donless up into sixth place now, considering his recovery drive from that awful, awful beginning. And Denmark 166 has now got a time penalty for exceeding chat limits. So that's. Going to go to his race time. Ben McEwen out on his own. He was in a tussle with Switchback 37 last time out at Silverstone. Got tapped into a spin. And the exit of Stowe Corner on the penultimate lap. Was luckily able to get the win back after the race because of Switchback 37's time penalty due to another collision that he caused. But at the moment, he's leading this one by 5.6 seconds. Game of James in second place. Then it's Guy in third. Denmark in fourth. Monkey Mafia, who is under pressure now from Dauntless. who will have DRS on the start-finish straight. You see Radicom behind Stoke Lake as well. He will need to get by the Ferrari as soon as he can. So coming through Eau Rouge now. There's the Alfa Tari behind the Alfa Romeo. It's not too far back. But here's um, the Mercedes of Radicon alongside Stoke Bloke and up into 7th place. Dauntless losing time there. He'll need to get by uh, Monkey Mafia. So, and Monkey Mafia's made a mistake and he's damaged his front wing. Clearly got the power down coming out of Bruxelles. And that's a costly error for him. He'll need to get that front wing changed. I think he will do at the end of this lap. He has been on those tyres for six laps anyway. But not good news for him. So that's a position gain there for, for Donless and for Radicon and for Stoke Bloke. But Stoke Bloke's got a time penalty as well for exceeding trap limits.
see Gummasindu, who's right behind Monkey Mafia. Can these two get through the bust up chicane cleanly? Gummas Indu alongside, and I think the Alpha Romeo is going to go into the pits. He does. So that's the other Alpha Romeo in trouble. Both Alpha Romeos not having a good race so far. Contrast to Ben McEwen's showing in this. Circulating round like he owns the circuit. Now, what tyres will Monkey Mafia be on? He'll be, he's on the mediums, so I think he'll go to the end. Although if he does get a sa if we do get a safety car, he'll most definitely want to switch back onto a a set of softs. This is crucial as far as the championship is concerned. And Monkey Mafia has now retired. He's crashed out somewhere. We don't know what's happened. It looks like he may have had an accident at Eau Rouge. And he has, yeah, he's crashed out at, on the exit of Radion. So Monkey Mafia, first lap out of the pits on his mediums, and he's crashed into the barrier. And I think we may have a safety car, you know. Yeah, we've got a safety car now. So Ben McEwen will be in the pits for a change of tyres with the lead that he has. Um, Demo 166, or my, uh, yeah, Demo 166 deciding to stay out actually. But he's got a drive through penalty now for, for going too fast under the safety car. So he'll have to take that penalty after the safety car restart. Some drivers coming out of the pits there. And this is good news actually for Switchback 37. He was at the back of the field. He's got a chance to make up for lost time. Demo 166. So who stops them? So Ben McEwen is stopped, as is Gamer James, D, Dauntless, Radicon and Stoke Bloke. B Natty Natter hasn't. Bishop's Finger, Gummers Indu, Bimagate, Bimagai, sorry. Wraith, E46, Quasinada, Switchbuck 37, Shift 5015, to Simpy and In fact, Shift 5015 has not stopped yet, but he's in the pits now, so. So the only drivers who have yet to stop in this race are B Natty Natter and Demot 166. And he's got a drive through penalty as well. So. So on the safety car. There's one driver who's actually on the intermediates. Now what's that all about? <laughs> Gummas Indu on the intermediates. Now, I wonder if he's doing that so that he doesn't have to use a certain compound. Because we are under the safety car. Now that's interesting. I'd be intrigued to see if that's within the rules really. To use the same dry compound in the race and use the intermediates when it's not actually raining. Very interesting indeed. Let's see, ben, I think Denmark 166 is now in the pits. I think he stayed out another lap to avoid getting held up in the pits. But he's going to drop well down the order. He's uh, said Demo 166.
Who else is in? I mean, Gummus Indu back in the pits for a set of mediums. And I think he's going to go to the end on those as well. So Ben McEwen back in the lead. Ben Jane second, it's Guy, Dauntless, Radicon, Stoke Bloke, Bishop's Finger, Bimagai, Ray 46, and Quasi Nada. On well, lap 9, 14 laps to go. Bruxell. So in a rundown of who's got time penalties so far. Stoke Blake has got three seconds, as has Cosinada 67. Denmark 166 has also got three seconds, and he's got a drive through as well that he has to take after the restart. Switchback 37 has got three seconds, as has Gemma's Indu. Shifted Gifty 15 has got a nine second time penalty, and to simply has got three seconds. Ben McEwen. I wonder if the safety car will come in at the end of this lap. I don't think it will. I don't think it is, you know. So, so there's going to be another lap behind the safety car, which gives an opportunity for the Haas of Tuwik 14 to catch up. Now, with the safety car staying out as long as it is, I wonder if there's any more drivers that's going to be pitting. Let's have a look. So Ben McEwen obviously is going to be staying out. There's Bishop's finger. Ray 46, Cosinada. Denmark's rejoined in 11th. But we'll need to take that drive through on the restart. So at 14, has managed to catch up to the field now. This will be the last lap under the safety car. So there'll be 12 laps to go at the end of this one. It's going to very much be a sprint to the finish. Let's see if he was not stopped yet. I think everyone has stopped now. So they should all be going to the end. As far as the championship is concerned, Ben McEwen would take the lead on countback. Yeah, because he's fourth in the championship, seven points behind James, uh, Game and James coming into the event. With Radicon further down the order, likewise with Switchback. He'll most definitely be in the lead. Level on points, but with more victories, he would take the lead overall. So the safety car is coming in at the end of this lap. So McEwen will back the field up. And when he's ready, he will pull clear.
So we are using Faults Clear. Around the bus stop she came. To start lap 12, so lap 11 out of 22 here at Spa Francorchamps. So McEwen leads the way. Then it's Gamer James in second place, followed by uh, Yee in third, then it's Dauntless. Uh, Radicon in fifth, Stoke Bloke, Bishop's Finger, and Bimagai. You can see the McEwen under pressure from the McLaren of Gamer James, who will be in the slipstream of the Williams. They're going to be side by side on the Camel Straight. There's no DRS for the first two laps. So if Game James is going to pass him, the driver wait until lap 13 or get past McEwen the old fashioned way. You can see there's nothing, not changed too much. Further down the order. And then Shifty, Shifty Gifty 15 has had another dreadful afternoon. It's had a spin into the barrier. And he's down in 17. So here's McEwen. He's pulled out that important one second gap on Gamer James. Let's keep him out of DRS range. Switchback 37's got past Denmark 166. Further behind, let's move up into 10th place, continuing his fight back through the field, and remember he's got a 3 second time penalty, that'll go to his time at the end of the race, and Denmark 166 is in for his drive through penalty. Is anything happening at the front, and Chick 15 has uh, retired from the session now. So he's out of the race, and I think we may have another safety car. It's a virtual safety car, so Ben McEwen will slow down, so there's no need for a for a safety car. Gives the drivers the opportunity to conserve fuel if need be. That might help Denmark a little bit, actually. Because he's just taking his drive through penalty. He's down in 15th place now. So Shifty 50 15, the third driver to retire from this one. 16 running out of the 19 that started. And two drivers have now got drive through penalties. They are Gamer James 06 and My Name is Guy. So both of them speeding under the virtual safety car. Switchback 37's got the same penalty. So three drivers got drive throughs for going too fast under the virtual safety car. Now I can imagine they'll both go in at the same time in case we do get a safety car. But that's going to change the championship massively now. With Ben McEwen leading, Dauntless is in second place, Radic on third, then it's Stoke Bloke, Bishop's Finger, Big Maguire, Ray 46, and Switchback, who decides to stay out for another lap. And where are the likes of Gamer James and uh, My Name is Guy? They've rejoined. In fact, Gamer James has rejoined in the path of the Mercedes there, of Gunners Indu. Side by side into Arouge, and Gamer James goes for a spin into the barrier by the looks of it. I think he just gets out of the wall, you know. He has. He's come back onto the circuit, and that's his race compromised even more now. You can see that Demo 166 going past the McLaren. So not good news for him. Just going from bad to worse now there from the championship leader. So switch about 37. He's got past the Red Bull of Ray 46. He's now on the tail 
of the racing point of Bimagai. The teammate contact there. Switchback 37 could get back on him uh, into campus. No change of position. And Radicon's got past Dauntless into second place as well. So that's another position gain there for Radicon in terms of the championship. Switchback 37 won't want to waste too much time behind Bimagai. I don't think he needs, and Bimagai, I think, just let him go rather easily because he knows that Switchback has got a drive through to take. Now, does he take it this lap? No, he's going to wait another one. So DRS open for the Alfa Romeo driver. And with Bishop's finger, the human player not in the session. Switchback was able to go past it very, very easily. Here's Dauntless, who has DRS, but he's too far back to have a go on Radicom. Now, Ray 46 got past Bimagai as well for 7th place, but Bimagai is going to try and get him back. Into Lacon. You can see Gummers Indu down the inside of My Name is Gee and up into 10th. Gamer James back ahead of Denmark into 13th. You can see the Haas drivers just battling amongst themselves for pride, really. Here's McEwen. Mazinada in ninth behind his teammate Bimagai. Having a better race of it has Mazinada. He has a he's not had a good few races in the championship so far, but he's having a better time of it hole here. Stoke Bloke in fourth place has a three second time penalty from earlier on. And switchback 37 does come in to serve his drive through penalty. So he'll drop down the order. We'll find out soon enough how far down he will be. He's definitely going to rejoin behind to Simpy. I think he might just get out in front of uh, of Gamer James. He's going to be side by side with him, in fact. The championship contender is going side by side into Eau Rouge. The two don't make contact and they get through Eau Rouge safely, so... That's Gamer James up into 12th place. Gummus Indu has got past to Simpy into 10th. And the battle for 5th there between Bishop's Finger, Ray 46, and Bimagai. Bishop's Finger still ghosting. You can see Dauntless in 3rd. Great debut race for him in the Championship. Behind Radicon in second. There's switchback right behind the McLaren of Gamer James. Into the bus stop chicane. And that's uh, Bimagai getting past Bishop's Finger into 6th place. He's going to be on the tail of Ray 4 to 6 for 5th very shortly. You can see Dauntless. In the battle for second with Radicom. You 
can see here there's the Alvatari of Desimpi under, under pressure from Gamer James. Pulls alongside. And that's him up to 11. The switchback will be so, so desperate to get in front of that Alvatari. Let's see the Mercedes of Gummers Indu holding up Gamer, Gamer James 06. And locking up. My name is Guy. Still behind the racing points. It's the Williams of Bishop's Finger. Gem James down the inside, coming out of Stubble Oak. On the grass, past Gummers Indu and up into tenths, it's a good move there. Back into the points. This is quite a radical change as far as the championship is concerned with Gamer James down in the order. And Ben McEwen running away with it at the front. The Dauntless in DRS range. Of Radicom is going to be too far back to have a go. You can see there, there's the Alpha Romeo of Switchback down the inside of the Simpies, the Geralt side by side on the um, Camel Straight. And into Lake Com, go switch back into 12. Now, some of these drivers got longer time penalties than others, so there's that to bear in mind at the end of the race. So, my name is Guy, and seventh place behind Bimagai. My name is Deep. Behind the racing point. In the battle for sixth position. And Dauntless has got past uh, Radicon into second place at the bus stop chicane. So it's a change for position there. So a great move from Dauntless to move his Alpha Tari up into second. But he'll have DRS onto the Camel Straight as the drivers go up there now. Five laps to go here at Spa. DRS open for the Mercedes driver. And Radicon's not going to have enough power to pull alongside and make the move. You can see there is the Renault of D behind Bimagai. That's the up into sixth place and Quasinada moving ahead of Bishop's finger. Gamer James 06 will follow suit. There's an opposition game for him. So Bemic in five seconds in front of Dauntless. He's in second place now. Radicon in third. So as it stands, Ben McEwen will take the lead in the championship. Radicon would move up into second. Bear in mind actually that Dauntless does have a three second time penalty to his name. So Radicon just needs to stay within three seconds in order to get back into second place by the end of this race. So going back to what I was saying about the championship, Ben McEwen would win and get the fastest lap. So 26 points to Radicon's 18, which would move him four points in front. So he'd move four points in front of, uh, of Radicon. Radicon would be second.
Gamer James 06 would be third and switch back in fourth place in the uh, Drivers' Championship. The Championship is still close. But as you can imagine, Gamer James 06 making up for lost time with only four laps left. To get as good of a result as possible. Switchback 37 has got past uh, Bishop's Finger as well for 10th place, so he's back in the points. And now Radicon's got a three second time penalty to his name for exceeding track limits, so he's got to get past Dauntless now on the track in order to get into second place. Again, Jones 06. He's desperate to get past the racing point, he may do into Poo on here. Side by side into campus. Game James goes round the outside there. Can't make the move state, but he's left the door open for switchbacks to pull alongside. But Game James just has enough momentum to stay in front. Further ahead, we've got the Alpha Terry in the race. Probably want to go back to this battle here because. Gamer James 06 is about to pull alongside the racing point of Quasinada 67. Into the bus stop chicane side by side. Switch by 37 locks up behind. Gamer James 06 can't make the move stick on Quasinada just yet. And there's a spin in the background as uh, Gamas Indu and Denmark 166 have come together, would you believe it? Gamer James 06 down the inside into La Source on Quasinada 67. To move up into seventh place now. In fact, he's got past both racing points. I think Bimmer guys made a mistake. So that's two in one go for uh, for Gamer James. And switchback 37 should pull alongside the racing points here. Might be able to make a double move if he's clever. He just makes the one move there on Bimmer guy into ninth. And very shortly he will get alongside. Quasinada 60, uh, yeah, Quasinada 67 to move up into 8. The next man up from, from Gamer James is, is G. He's 5 seconds in front, and Gamer James 06 does have a 3 second time penalty. Quasinada switched back, and Bimagai have got 6 second time penalties each, so Bitchett's Finger would move back in ahead of all 3 of them. As it stuns. So as it stuns with the time penalties, the top seven wouldn't change. Two laps to go now. Radicon right behind him. Needing to get in front for the sake of the championship. So Furo Rouge now, they come. And B Natty Natter has retired. And that's his race run. So that's the Hass driver out. And E right behind Ray 46 on the Kemmel straight. And this should be a a clean manoeuvre for him. And that's fifth place for the Renault driver. Great great race actually for Geek. No time penalty to his name. Kept his car clean throughout. Switch by 37. Ninth. Still behind Quasinada. So insight into Bruxelles. He spins, does switch back. And that's him dropping down the order. So that's him out of the points. So it's not good news for him. Bad day for the Alfa Romeo team, it has to be said. Radicon right behind Dauntless. As Ben McEwen is about to start the final lap now. Dauntless in second in front of Radicon. And looking at My Name is Gee. He's actually within three seconds of uh, Stoke Bloke, who's got a time penalty, so my name is Gee, he could be on for a, an even better result than where he is at the moment. Yeah. 
We're on the last side now. Radicon right behind. Dauntless for second place. You'll have DRS. He should pull alongside, actually. Into the slipstream of the Alpha Terry. The Mercedes goes round the outside into Lacom. The two make contact there. Banging wheels. And Radicon goes for a spin. He's lost it. He has lost it as the Mercedes driver. He gets, he turns back round. He should have had enough gap over Stoke Bloke in fourth place. There he is, look. He had to give it a go, did Radicon, for the sake of the championship. But it just wasn't to be this time. As De Simpi gets by Bimagai into ninth place on the last lap as well. And uh, my name is Gee. He's, uh, he's going to be on the tail of uh, Stoke Bloke, actually. Very, very shortly. And here's Ben McEwen on his last lap. Through Blanchimon now. Into the bus stop chicane for the last time. And for the third race on the charts. Ben McEwen will take the checker flag. In first place, Ben McEwen wins the Belgian Grand Prix. He takes the lead in the Drivers' Championship as well. A fantastic performance from him. No problems with him whatsoever. Dauntless is going to come home second. A great result in his first race of the season. Radicon, despite spinning, will cross the line in third place. But he'll move up into second in the Drivers' Championship. With Stoke Bloke in fourth place. But my name is Gee. We'll finish ahead of him with the time penalty added. Ray 46 will finish 5th, Stoke Bloke down to 6th place. Gamer James 06, who was the championship le leader going into the event, has come home 7th. Quasinada in 8th, De Simpi 9th, and Switchback uh, 37 will cross the line in 10th place, but will drop to 12th with the time ponzi. So Bishop's Finger is in 8th, Quasinada 9th, De Simpi 10th, Bimagai 11th, followed by Denmark, Gummazindu, and Tuit 14, a long, long way behind in 15th and last place. So great drive overall from Ben McEwen, despite the safety car, that didn't hinder him one bit. Able to control the race from the front and lead home the others to the checker flag and win the Belgian Grand Prix. That's three wins in a row for him and he got the fastest lap point as well. You can't take that away from him. Interesting race that was. It took a long time for it to get going, but finally it did get going. We had a race. Some good battles out on circuit. You can see the drivers celebrating on the podium. McEwen will be absolutely delighted, as he would be. The new championship leader with four races to go. Can anyone stop him? So final classification of the Belgian Grand Prix, Ben McEwen wins ahead of Dauntless in second, Radicon in third place, and it's Guy in fourth, Ray 46 in fifth, followed by Soblo, Gamer James in seventh, but have Bishop's Finger. Uh, Quasinada was ninth, good result for him, Disimpi was tenth, followed by Bimagai, Switchback 37, dismal race for him in twelfth, ahead of Denmark, Gamma's Indu, Toit 14, uh, B Natty Natter classified in sixteenth place, and it's Shift Gifty 15, Monkey Mafia, and Angel LV07 who did not finish. So as far as the championship is concerned, Ben McEwen getting the fastest up as well. He is leading the championship now by a cushion, which I believe is seven points over Radicon, who's in second place in the championship. Then you've got uh, Gamer Jovis 06, who drops to third place, and Switchback 37 with his pointless score remaining in fourth position. Well, that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. We do apologise for the delay with the race, but we finally got underway and we had a race on our hands. It's been a huge privilege covering this one, and I can't wait to do it all over again next time, next weekend, for the Singapore Grand Prix. I'm Tom Cairns, and I'll speak to you again soon when the America F1 Series returns.